Today we're going to go to the pipeline walkway, and you can park right here by the flood wall. Right there, right down here, further down on 14th Street will get you to the same spot. Let's go check it out. The pipeline is a half mile of largely hidden heaven in the heart of the city. You've been there before, right? First time. On a hot day like today, you can cool off 10 degrees just by dipping down into this ever-changing show on our famously wild river. This is the part you could fall. It's actually really safe. All types use it. Sunbathers, walkers, runners, bicyclists, birders. You can watch fishermen catching catfish or campers cooking their dinner. Or in other seasons, great blue herons doing their mating thing. There's several spots just like this one where you can jump off into the sand and be on some of the nicest beaches in Richmond. How's the water, man? Uh, it's a little warm. Warm? Yeah. You guys ever go to the islands over there? I'd like to. There's a couple of ponds over there where the catfish are like really big. You can reach right in there and grab them. And right here you can watch kayakers challenging the class three plus pipeline rapids. Every bit as challenging as our famous Hollywood rapid upriver. Did you enjoy it? Isn't it cool? Overhead is our train viaduct, once a railroading marvel recognized across the land. Pipeline's a beautiful little oasis in this city. It's a great place to come down and just get back and be in touch with nature. You get down here and you forget you're in a city. So this is like a whirlpool. It's fabulous, like 15,000 jets. The pipeline itself is at least a half century old, part of the city's combined stormwater and sewage system. It connects up with the massive retention basin downriver and the pipes feeding the sewage treatment plant across the river. All right, so here's the end of it right here. We're on Browns Island. In fact, you get on the pipeline from Browns Island, it's just parking's a little bit tougher. On a day like today, it's all too easy to forget how dangerous this place can be with slippery rocks, deep water, and rapids that have killed. When the James River is flooded, this pipeline is no place to play. But right about now, this is one of the dreamiest half miles in River City. On the pipeline, Mark Holmberg, CBS 6 News.